Hi, I'm Dr. Rick Miller, Superintendent of the Santa Ana Unified School District. And I'm Dr. Hector Rodriguez, Chief of Police for the Santa Ana Unified School District Police Department. We hear with more and more frequency news reports that refer to active shooter incidents. By definition, an active shooter is anyone using a firearm with the sole intent of killing people in a confined and populated area. To better protect ourselves and our student body in the event of an active shooter incident, Santa Ana Unified School District has produced a series of instructional videos. But these videos are only a starting point for our preparedness efforts. Each of us must plan, practice, and adopt these strategies to our own surroundings. Santa Ana Unified School District is committed to ensuring the safety and security of all of our students, staff, and visitors. And we stand ready to assist you in your efforts in addressing this important issue. Forty years ago, it was unimaginable. Twenty years ago, it was unthinkable. Today, it is our reality. As a teacher or staff member of the Santa Ana Unified School District, you have only one mission during an active shooter event, to do whatever is necessary for you and your students to survive. We should think of our schools in the same way we think of our communities. Teachers, staff, and students all working together to keep a watchful eye for anything out of the ordinary. This neighborhood watch approach to campus security is vital. If we see anything that appears suspicious, we need to report it. It could be as simple as noticing that a door is propped open when it should be closed and locked. Or it could be more complicated. Perceiving sudden mood swings or aggressive behavior in a coworker or student. Either way, these concerns must be corrected immediately or reported for further assessment. When an active shooter attacks a campus, realize that as teachers and staff, we are the first responders. In those crucial moments between the start of the assault and to the arrival of law enforcement, we must adopt a survival mindset. We need to seize the initiative and decide what actions to take and when to take them. Here are three effective strategies to counter an active shooter assault. We can run. We can hide. We can fight. Don't think of these as progressive steps. First I run, and then I hide, and finally I fight. Think of them instead as options that best suit your particular situation and location during the assault. An active shooter on a school campus is in search of targets. We want to use run, hide, and fight to undermine that objective. For example, the distance of some individuals to the shooter will safely allow a strategy of run in order to make their escape. Other people may adopt a strategy of hide to build a barricade and take cover in a secured room. Still others, primarily due to their close proximity to the shooter, may have no alternative but to fight. If you have the chance to safely leave the school grounds, the run strategy should be your first course of action. Run takes you out of harm's way and puts distance between you and the shooter. Keep everyone together throughout your escape. If you meet others, take them with you as you exit, but do not stay behind if they will not go. If the location of the active shooter is not known or is too close for you to escape, then the hide strategy may be your better option. Hide is very similar to our policy of lockdown. Doors should be locked, windows closed and covered, lights turned out, and cell phones turned off with everyone remaining quiet. If necessary, impromptu barricades or other means of cover should be employed. Hiding involves seeking concealment in as secure a location as possible, out of the shooter's view. The intent of the hide strategy is to induce the shooter to bypass your area, or restrict his entry and further frustrate his intent. 
fight is a strategy of last resort. Use it only when your life is in immediate danger and no other options are available to you. To be effective, our actions must involve concentrated use of our strength, quickness, and aggression. Remember, fight is not about heroics, it's about survival. Use defensive tools such as chairs, textbooks, fire extinguishers, or other items to disrupt or stop the shooter. No single response will fit all active shooter situations. In some cases, you'll use one strategy to buy time for another. For example, building a barricade to slow the active shooter while you make your escape by breaking a window and exiting. There you go. Contact law enforcement only when it is safe to do so. Never presume that someone else has already made the call. Law enforcement will speed to your campus in force. Their sole concern will be to quickly neutralize the shooter. When you encounter officers, try your best to remain calm and obey their commands. Active shooter attacks unfold quickly. There may not be opportunity for an announcement through the school's public address system. Notification may in fact come from the sounds of gunfire, screams, and voices in distress. Always be on the alert. The truth is that an active shooter attack on campus is likely to be the most frightening experience of your life. The more we plan and prepare, the more we practice and drill these plans, the more automatic our response will be. Begin now by developing a run, hide, and fight action plan. A physical inventory of your classroom will identify possible escape routes, items useful for barricade construction, defensive tools, and potential hiding places. Discuss your plan with fellow teachers, staff members, and administrators. Involve members of law enforcement. Prepare plans for common areas hallways, playgrounds, lunch areas, gymnasiums, and the library. Because we don't know where we might be during an attack, we need to be thorough in our planning. So we'll cover windows, turn off all the Communicate lights, these plans to your students. Rehearse, practice, practice, and drill each plan on a regular basis, the same way you currently do for fires or other emergencies. Make sure everyone knows what they need to do if an active shooter strikes. And let's get the blinds on the window. We hope that no teacher anywhere ever has to put these efforts into action. But hope is not a strategy. Preparedness is. As a teacher and staff member, you must take a leadership role in preparing yourself and your students to respond during an active shooter attack. And the time to begin these preparations is now. <laughs>